In this lesson I'm going to talk about elastic mode or as we like to call it rubber mode. Now to demonstrate that I'll come over here to this flyout and I'll click on a rectangle. I'm just going to create a standard type rectangle. Simple as that. I'll give it a bit of color. Now this rectangle here I can also give it a corner radius as so. And what I might do is come up to here and I'll turn proportional resizing off for this lesson and I'll set it to a one inch corner radius. So we've got a one inch corner radius. I'll come down and you can see if I click on the item here I have a one inch quarter radius. And if I drag this out you'll see that it remains as a one inch corner radius by clicking on or going hovering over this node you can see how it remains as a one inch corner radius. Now if I go up to here and click on this tool elastic mode, click on that and now I click on the rectangle and drag it out you can see what's happening here. It's dragging it out as if it was made on a piece of rubber, as so. And if I squash it in, it squeezes it as if it was made on a piece of rubber. So that's elastic mode on a general type shape. Let's turn that off for a second. Okay, now earlier on I typed in this piece of text here. And as we know with the text box, when we resize it, the text stays at whatever size it was set to. Now in this case it's set to 14 point, so I can make that bigger or smaller, but it's set to 14 point. And no matter what I do with this text box, the text remains at 14 point as you can see. Okay, so if I go to elastic mode, like this, and I drag the text box out like that, you'll see that the text actually stretches as if it was made out of a piece of rubber. It's no longer staying at its original point size. It's now at 21.6 point in this particular case. It remains as text if I go into text mode and I select on it here and I change the point size to say 24 point. It's still text. But while it's in rubber mode, if I stretch it like this, you'll see that it stretches or squeezes in. And if I drag it out this way, it stretches out like that. So that's what rubber mode does. And the advantage of rubber mode for, a, uh, for text, for example, is quite often you'll design a, a, a set of or a, a big piece of artwork with all these text boxes all over the place and you'll suddenly realize that the point size is wrong or the text box is the wrong size. And when you go to resize the text box, of course, the actual text doesn't resize, uh, the text itself doesn't resize only the text box. If you uh, click on rubber mode up here like this, uh, it will then resize, stay as text, and then you can turn it back off. So that's the advantage of rubber or elastic mode. That's the end of this lesson.